Alright, welcome to another video and in this video I am going to explain how I updated my new workbench to MFT style workbench. I had a MFT uh, top before this one and I really enjoyed it uh, but the only accurate thing that I used on it was my um, my fence and my hinge from Benzux UK so I can do accurate cuts with my track saw. That was basically the only thing that needed to be accurate so um, I changed to a solid top, used it for a while but I really missed this system and my B-stops and my clamps, MFT clamps. That was actually the only thing that I used with my MFT uh, work top. So I uh, have this MFT um, portable top which I use if I'm gonna go working out of the shop then I use this one uh, I just laid it on my workbench and took over some holes and then I calibrated my uh, hinge system to my workbench uh, so it's now really accurate and I'm gonna take you through those steps so you can do the same thing so you can have a classic classic workbench with a tail vise but still have a MFT hinge system so if you like that stick around so I lay down my MFT top on my workbench and then I clamped it down took a 20 millimeter forced a bit and then I um, drilled out some holes and I used this uh, drill stand for that which make it a little bit more easy then I flipped my MFT table the other way around so I can do my last two holes on my front part for my front part from the hinge system I used these 20 millimeter holes to line them up so they are as much as possible uh, in line with the other holes so here is the hinge system and those holes are a little bit more in than those two but it has to do with my MFT top basically it's just the normal uh, distance between the center as a normal MFT so here I have my fan system from Benchox which I can add, put in my MFT holes like that now this is really sturdy so this is all going good then if I take this down and I have all these holes here uh, which doesn't need to be 100% accurate so I take my triangle push it against my fence bring it in and then I can measure out how accurate square this is now this is already calibrated so here and here it's bang on but if it ain't square when you drill all these holes you don't have to stress because my one wasn't square as well so let me explain how you can calibrate this hinge I already made a video about that but now you can see it actually me doing it on my workbench if the pin sits here, so you can tie it up with this screw, if the pin sits here, it's straight away, straight away square out of the box. There's a small offset here, which go really tight in that slot here, so no movement. Now I have to calibrate my own uh, hinge system. So I put it in this long slot here, and I know that it needs to go three mil a little bit that way. So I put it roughly where I think it should be. So here you can see it is a normal slot. Now I bring down my hinge or my uh, back part, bring it in, push my triangle with those alignment pins or a big set square, whatever you have against my fence, bring it in and then I take my thickness couch here and then just slightly work it until you have this should work so now you don't move this anymore you just go underneath and so here you can see the screw so I know it's square on top then I just tie it down and you're ready to go 
So let's do the test cut here. Now let's run a check here. Yeah, that's nice. Now let's take the bigger square. And if I bring it in slightly against the edge, you yeah. it's just perfect. Here I have two fan stalks. This is a normal one, which is the same as all bench stalks. They will roughly stick out 20 millimeter. They were gonna go in your workbench. But if you use a force bit that is exactly 20 mil, this is always a little bit loose so if you're gonna do the same I recommend having these these are from Benchworks UK those are the quad dogs and if you loose them up they will be loose as well but then if you tighten them up you can then make them really sturdy because of this rubber here that will uh, extend uh, the more you will uh, tighten it up so it will have a really nice grip inside here so this was my video about updating my workbench to mft style workbench now i do know that uh, i used my mft top which is made with a cnc but you don't have to have that you can also buy a jig and set out these holes or do it with a straight edge as i did in my previous video so that will all work because you can calibrate this system now I explained the differences about the fan stocks that I used in my workbench. So I recommend quad dogs and you can get them with some discount under my discount code DC007. Go in the description and you can check it out there. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.